Hello everyone, my name is Joyce. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome to my Bible study. And uh, today I, I will continue with my lesson about being humble. I know that it is very easy to be to be offended when someone asks you to be humble. But remember why you have been called. The call we have, it's very important. And the reward is very big. It is eternal life. Remember also that it is God who created us. He is the creator of everyone and everything. He has the right to give us the right guidance so that we can live here according to his will and we can receive our reward we are being rewarded a gift that lasts forever and that gift is eternal life so we must have to remember that when we listen to him our god this is how we can receive our reward we are going to heaven not only for one day. We are not going there for just two days. We are going there to stay forever. That means that there will be no more dying. There will be no more crying. There will be no more pain. There will be no more, you know, sadness in heaven and it, that's why god want also that all those who really qualify to be there to get that access do you understand so that we can live there in harmony there shall be no more no thieves no jealous no hatred no and everyone know their position we know our position over for God and we know our position over for because that is the life that we are going to live there. You cannot reject the king and expect to live in his kingdom. Do you understand? You cannot even reject the king's rules and expect to live in harmony in that kingdom. So we must have to understand that when we prepare ourselves for that kingdom, is that means that we prepare to live with the king and we have to know his character and we have to know what he wants from us. And he, that's why God wants us. He thinks that humbleness is very, very important. So we must have to remember this. There is no, so many scriptures that talk about humbleness. And God also is using those, some, even if Jesus was humbling people sometimes, or showing people how it is to be humble. And sometimes he can do something just to show that people, this is what I want. This is the kind of humbleness I want. I can just continue with that uh, lesson about about it but before i do that i'm just asking you if you it is first time you visit my channel to make sure that you subscribe so you never miss any more of the channel click on that subscribe button and um, you can also click on that notification button so that you will not lose any of my sendings and uh, you will benefit a lot and uh, please leave me a comment so i know what you think about my teaching but uh, i'm going to teach to tell you to show you the scriptures about uh, being humble today praise the living god because god is so it is very important for us to humble before god very very important because of the reward we are going to receive you understand that that is something we are going to get for free 
Mm -hmm. And it is not that uh, this is something that God thinks that it's very, very, very important that we show him the character of humbleness. In First Peter chapter 5 to 6, uh, God uh, had to say, humble yourself for the fall under the mighty hand of God so that the proper time may he exalt you. So God, he want people to humble themselves over for him. If God is asking you to do something and you must have to obey, the obedience that is what is very, very important. It is very great weapon for us Christians. When you obey God, you will reach far, far away. But you know that because God loves the people who humble themselves. Mm? People who humble themselves, you know. Because God love when when we humble ourselves to God, this is what mm, God resists. God resists the pride, you know. Mm? In, in James chapter 4 verse 6, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. That's also very, very important to think that if God can, is of this the reason we have many Christians that they cannot even, they cannot even pray and Actually, there are many Christians that they cannot even pray and God listen to them. They are just still like empty bottles that are moving around because inside of them, they are totally empty. But they fail because sometimes one of the reasons is because they cannot humble themselves to God. And uh, they are rebellion. There is the result of rebellion. That is the what is making. They are just. They want to. They think they can rebel God, and at the same time, they can. Um, they can get what they want from God. Make God opposes them. You know, God resists them. You understand there is also another scripture that say that God resists the proud so all those things they are coming together that God resists the proud opposes the proud but but give grace to the humble when God is talking about when we humble ourselves he talk to everyone we have to remember also that we as people Everyone must take their own position. Do you understand? Everyone must everyone must take their own position so that uh, if you are a woman, you have been told that your position is you are under men. We must we are actually we must have to accept that situation and Peter said likewise wives be subject to your husbands so that even some do not obey the word they may be won without word by the conduct of their wives when they see you are respectful and a pure conduct so God also rewarded women that wives that obey their husbands submit to the husbands it's the same thing because you this is the something that is we have to take we women it is for us women we must understand to take our position women cannot take their positions not at home not everywhere we wanted to fight we can fight about something you know we are the part of we are in the world but we do not belong to this world after when you have accepted jesus in your life you must have to understand to to live according to the word of god 
because uh, this is what will make it, it takes time before God understand it, it takes time before God reward you but you will be rewarded in the time when it comes when God see that humility in your heart and you see and this is the humbleness the behavior of humbleness is very very important for us as Christians so we must have to learn to live this 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 character to have it inside of us so we can be rewarded amen Mm. and the also first Peter 5 5 likewise you who are younger be subject to the elders clothe yourself all of you with humility towards one another for God opposes the proud but give grace to the humble do you understand this is another word that say God opposes the proud but give grace to the humble because God wants also that the younger the young people to take their position as young people many many reasons that younger people young kids we must parents must teach their kids to submit it is not so very easy in these days but uh, we may try we may do our best for the glory of God teach your kids to submit you understand these days is not like before that uh, um, you know before the respect was so important but now the respect is not so important any longer because the devil is dominating our societies and uh, it uh, becomes that uh, it is like the devil is raising our kids because the, the, our kids are everywhere where the devil is and uh, it can be very difficult to make them submit sometimes we um, and this is the reason why I have heard the testimony that some people saw kids in hell and most of them were, most of the biggest reason is because they do not respect their parents so i'm just telling that it's very very important to teach your kids how to submit maybe you parents we must have to learn how to 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 make this as a part of our life and to make it known to our society that this is how the kids must must be grown amen because this is what the bible wants you know matthew chapter 23 verse 12 say whoever exalt himself will be humbled and whoever humble himself will be exalted so if we humble ourselves or before God, God will exalt us, us. I can tell I just tell you this is fantastic. Really fantastic. When you humble yourself, God has the power to rise to exalt you. For well, the first, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, do you understand? the power of the holy spirit comes upon you then you will understand that nothing nothing can stand against you nothing can stand against you and yes you become and not, you when you become that exalted and this is fantastic so i'm just giving you this as an inspiration that you have to remember that if we 
humble ourselves will be exalted by God. It's better to humble yourself so you can let God exalt you. If you exalt yourself, you will be humbled. You will be pushed down because God doesn't want that. So to live in this society of Christianity, we must remember that this is so very, is, is very, very important. I've been teaching all this because I want you to be uh, fortified with the word of God that is real so that when you, when in the time of seeking, you have to remember this, you know, you have to remember this that um, we must have to, we must learn to humble ourselves learn to uh, humble ourselves amen especially over for god over for his word no matter what god say to you just do it accept it because it is him who say that you will be rewarded you will be rewarded at the end of the time you will be rewarded now even if here in in the world and you will be rewarded later amen believe believe trust god he is able he can do whatever that the human can't anything that is in your mind that you think you should it is it should be that but a human cannot do God can do. If anything you are thinking about in your power it is impossible what you wish it could be. God can. Can. I say he can. And all those you get, all those you get when you get true relationship, when you get that right relationship with him. You know these days there is a lot of movements moving going around. Everyone is talking about human rights. You know? It is good to think about that I'm a human and maybe... But you, we have to remember one thing. Not all the human rights that are called human rights are the human rights according to God. People are requiring things that are too far out of the will of God. People want to be accepted for who he, who they are in the church. When you talk about you, you want to be accepted even if we, with your sins in the church, you are going against the will of God. You know? Maybe you'll think that you are winning now. You can win that because it, you have all the uh, the word power is behind you. But you will be humbled one day. Do you understand? We require that we as women, we require to be equal. In all the situation, we can see that these days we have, I don't know, we have even women bishops. I just don't know if this is according to the scripture. I am not going there. But if we are going to touch the women about it, they all say, I am also human. You understand? I am not going to say to tell you what to do. But I can, all I can tell you is that you read the scripture. What the scriptures say? What the scriptures say? I'm going to talk about this another day. About this, I'm going to talk really another day about this. And uh, not only women bishops, we see now there is a lot of things that are going around, and uh, all those things that. Uh, are not according to the scripture but the people are requiring and they require and they want it to bring it into the church with them just look how look how the church is being so deceived these days because people cannot humble themselves 
it's not so very easy to humble people to tell people now that you don't sin do you understand you understand that mm -hmm. and the sin has become a new norm these days and it is not so very easy to tell someone if you'd ask someone don't do this and it, you say don't judge me do you understand maybe you will feel like you win these days but you are going to be humbled at the end of the time i am just telling you and you will be you will see yourself or you will be just looking because this is the word of god never lie you know so we must have to remember that whoever exalt himself will be humbled and whoever who humble themselves before the lord whoever who humble themselves before the lord will be exalted do you understand i have been talking a lot i never i never i thought i didn't i would did not think that i would speak so much but it's you so much if you have been listening to me until now i say i pray to the lord that you may be blessed let the word of god melt inside of you and change you in the name of jesus amen